Hey folks, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I bring you AOKP for the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is running on the WinMobile version which is the SGH T999V. Um, I've flashed the T-Mobile ROM and it works perfectly fine so you're good if you are using the WinMobile version. So AOKP is the Android Open Kang project and it's basically AOS based with hundreds and hundreds of tweaks. So just going on the overall, as soon as you flash the ROM, you have the ability to choose the normal launcher or Nova. So it comes with Nova launcher, which is pretty awesome. And instead of being the normal super user, you have super SU, which is uh, just a different um, uh, app that is used to control the updates, etc. And uh, let's get into what this comprises of. So under settings right here, uh, about phone, we're just gonna take a look here, running the latest Android version, which is 4.1.1, and using the Linux 3.0 kernel, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the baseband is uh, on the latest one that's available and that, that's where it is. And this release is on September 1st. I've just flashed it today and this is the latest one available as of now. And uh, I flashed that one right there. So let's get into what AOKP gives and why would you want to have AOKP on your device. So it has all of these standard AOKP tweaks that you could imagine and uh, as you can see and maybe if you, you haven't noticed but I have a nav bar running over here just like the Galaxy Nexus and I've tweaked it also to have a menu key instead of uh, the recent apps and holding on the home key gives me the recent apps so I've changed it to my own preference and you can completely change the way how this functions. So let's go starting from the bottom here we have performance. You can easily uh, overclock and underclock your CPU. You have a governor, you have IO schedulers, so governors, we have a couple of them here, but it's recommended to stay in on-demand because that's how Qualcomm chips work. They prefer the on-demand governor. For IO schedulers, there's no operation, deadline, and CFQ. Um, I've tried all three of them. I think that no operation, basically, it just lets the phone decide by itself, and it, it seems to be working better for me. The other algorithms are not really working out um, the way how I use the phone. So try them out, tell me how it goes, and uh, we can basically get an average on which which kind of people use which kind of uh, IO scheduler. Under voltage, it is not supported, so you can't really under vault to use less power for the same amount of speed. And under other settings, you have uh, memory tweaks and uh, fast charge, which is pretty decent. Going back, we have uh, weather control, I believe, on the... Um, is this on the lock screen? I might be mistaken. It could display it throughout the ROM. Let's see here. I haven't seen this before. Maybe it's on the lock screen. Let's take a look here. No, I don't really see it here. So I'm not too sure what that one um, is actually about. But you do get some bunch of other additional tweaks all around in the AOKP settings. Under sound, you basically get an equalizer, um, volume panel setup. So a couple of sound uh, tweaks over there. LED options are not fully functional, but will be fixed in the near future. Moving on to toggles. So the notification toggle, as you can see on the top here, uh, you can basically customize which toggle you want, or what order it is in. You can also uh, change the colors. So let's just say um, I want the indicator color to be dark blue. Hit that, and it's dark blue. Going back here, it says a shortcut to Holo. Simply hit Holo and click there, and there you go. It's back to how it was before. You can also just reset it and it will go back to its defaults. Going back again, we have um, the clock. So, the clock you can easily uh, center it over here. You can leave it on the right, put it center. You can also put AM PM style and the day of the week. So, let's put a small so you can see Monday over there and regular it's a full capital um, Monday and you can change the color as well so let's put purple the hell of it and there you go same thing shortcut to holo and click there it's back to how it was moving on we have the battery widget so as you can see over there in the um, notification bar I have the circle widget icon you can change that as well you can use it with icon with text you can use just text whatever you want there's a bunch of options available for you over there. You also have a charging animation. Um, right there, it tells you that it might uh, result poor experience, so try it out. If you don't like it, don't use it. Pretty simple. And we go to navbar. That's what I set up over here. 
and you can basically enable, disable, you don't even need to use it, but it's available. You can change the nav bar color. So I put it as a uh, holo blue, I can put it as pink, because pink is awesome. And there you go. You can also change the glow color to red, whatever color you want. So when I click on it, you can see it's red. I'm not too sure if the camera can pick it up, but uh, the keys become red instead of uh, being white. Going back to nav bar, and over here, you have the buttons and what you would like to enable. So we have the amount that you want to enable, which is over here. I'm gonna select five buttons, and over here you have the choice to choose whatever the hell you want. You could select the actual button as one, as well as long holding as the other. So you could technically have up to five functions um, five actual buttons with five additional functions when you long press hold. So let me just go back to the default quantity which was three and it kept my settings. It's gonna go back to holo, set over there, navigation glow, I'm gonna go back to white and there you have it. Oh, let's go back to the settings and let's move on to lock screen. So lock screen we have the wallpaper which I'll be changing Let's see here. Let's go to wallpapers, choose this picture over here. And there we go. Hit OK. We'll take a look at that in a second. And let's go to menu unlock for fastness. We can also show battery percentage. We can also choose how many targets. So as of right now, it's just Google. Uh, unlock camera and you have two more so let's go choose let's say let's go for the phone okay and let's go for the messaging over here and same like before how I showed you guys with um, cyanogen mod 10 you can change the icons to the one specifically designed so right here, AOKP icons has, uh, oh wait, yeah, that, that's actually the one that I selected. And you can leave it in color or you can set it to like black and white. So you can, you can choose however you want it. And I'm just going to click save and we'll check this out. So there you go. We have discharging 61% and we have the Google, uh, the unlock camera phone and messaging and there you go messaging is up and running I'm not too sure why the wallpaper didn't show up so let me just go confirm the wallpaper again let's go here let's choose this one this time and maybe that's a bug and it hasn't been fixed yet but will definitely be fixed in the future releases okay hit okay there's no other save button here so I'm just gonna take a look and okay there we go it has changed so we just have to make sure that you clicked on OK and then it will save the wallpaper. And um, that's roughly it for the lock screen. And then we have the general UI which allows 180 degrees um, rotation. Not too sure why you will be using it but it does have the option. We also have disable boot animation. I don't see the point because even if you disable it, the only difference is you'll be seeing a black screen it will take the same amount of boot time. You can also set up your own custom boot animation, which is pretty nice, which is built within. And you got to kill all button when you use the recent apps. So right there, kill all, we'll just kill all of them. So there you go, no recent apps. Go back and back. That's roughly it for the AOKP um, control, uh, where you can customize it how you want. There's also a theme engine built in, you can change themes. And um, I've noticed if you go into device options, you can turn off the backlight keys for these buttons here, but they still work. So it is still running. Um, so in case you do like lay your palm or like your thumb knocks it, it will still be running and um, you know, it will still be functional. So if you're using the nav bar, the, bottom, the, the buttons at the bottom are still functional. I believe I saw a, a flashable zip on XDA developers where you can flash it and it disables the hardware keys on here. So that would be good, I guess, if you are using the nav bar. But what I would like to see is have the nav bar and have the option to use the center button as my camera button. So if I ran into focus, I would hold on the home 
and it will take a nice um, steady picture. And also let's move on to what uh, AOKP uh, gives us in terms of choice. We have this cool clock here that gives us a bunch of versions, different variations over here as you can see. Pretty nice. Uh, it's just like this one. And then if you hold, you can go to wallpapers and swag papers. And there's a bunch of them over here. Next. As you can see, there's a bunch of wallpapers and it loads using the web. Let's go back, let's go back. Just a bunch of wallpapers. This is based on the uh, Deftones wallpaper actually of their album. And there you go. You get the AOKP Unicorn. So that's roughly it for this build. This is AOKP for the Galaxy S3. This is the T-Mobile version that I'm running right here. Again, really smooth. I haven't noticed any, any uh, lagging. Um, of course, I haven't restored all my apps and my widgets, so it is slightly biased on that end. But um, really smooth. I like the nav bar option that, that they give. Um, you can play around with it, completely customize it how you want. And uh, I, I think that they give you a lot of options. And that is great that you are able to do so much on a ROM. So this was Imran from AllAboutEnders.com. I hope you liked the video. Please do comment and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And it helps us out. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, and a Twitter. Please add us there. Thanks.